Now for international news headlines, we join Bruce Harrison at the News Center. Today's focus, Russia expends its military role in Syria. Islamic State militants destroy another major monument in an ancient city in Syria. And three scientists win the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their work to wipe out parasitic diseases. Bruce, uh, Turkey and Russia are at odds over which direction the Syrian government should take in the fight against IS uh, militants. And relations got a bit more tense over the weekend. Well, Jihei, Russia has been heavily criticized for allegedly bombing targets other than Islamic State fighters in Syria. And now neighboring Turkey says it intercepted a Russian jet in its airspace. The Turkish government tore into Russia's foreign ministry. In response, Moscow apparently said it made a mistake but won't do it again. Now, the United States has a whole separate set of complaints concerning Russia's intervention. And we turn to our Osu Young. She has details on that. With Russia's defense ministry saying it intensified its airstrikes in Syria, targeting 10 Islamic State positions over the weekend, tensions are escalating between the U.S. and Russia as the two continue their dispute over Russia's involvement in Syria. The strikes reportedly hit a terrorist training camp, including a suicide belt factory. It's not known how many terrorists were killed in the strikes, but Russia says they have considerably reduced the combat potential of the militants. However, Western nations are highly suspicious of Russia's intervention, saying the country is carrying out military action in Syria in support of President Bashar al-Assad. Meanwhile, the U.S. reinstated its support for Ukrainian forces amid a ceasefire with pro-Russian separatists. According to a Russian media outlet, Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko said Sunday that U.S. President Barack Obama had promised to supply new defensive weapons. This follows an agreement made last week with President Obama pledging to give an additional 20 million U.S. dollars for defense articles and services. This is set to entail artillery battery systems which will help deter pro-Russian militant attacks. Throughout the conflict, the U.S. has provided the Ukrainian government with military equipment and training worth over 240 million U.S. dollars. Oh Young, Arirang News.